Independent MP Han Dong is among those scheduled to speak today at the federal inquiry into foreign interference. Let's go live to CTV's Colton Prale, who's covering this story. Uh, so uh, let's talk about who else, uh, what we can expect for today when it comes to uh, those who are testifying. Yeah, Jamie, a really significant day at the Foreign Inquiry. Of course, this afternoon, we're going to hear from Han Dong. We're also expecting to hear from Michael Chan, two of the men who are at the very center of this entire saga when it comes to foreign interference. Han Dong, uh, particularly going to be an interesting testimony because a lot has changed from where things stood a few years ago when he left the Liberal caucus over allegations of close ties to China. We've learned since then through special rapporteur David Johnston that there were uh, genuine suspicions of of some form of foreign interference in his nomination in 2019 for the Liberal Party, but also Johnson found that Handong wasn't aware of them. We've also learned through this more recent inquiry and the documents involved in this that CSIS had informed the chief electoral officer of Canada uh, that there was a suspected incidence of foreign interference in a party nomination contest in the Don Valley North riding. Now, Canada's chief electoral officer couldn't say which party that happened to, but given that it is Handong's writing, it certainly raises eyebrows. Uh, there's a lot to learn, not just from his experiences personally and of what he saw, what he knew and when he knew it, but also from his chief of staff, uh, his former chief of staff, who will be testifying at the same time as well. And before we get to all of that, we're also going to hear from the three party campaign directors of the 2021 election. That will also be incredibly interesting. They'll be appearing as a panel. The one to pay most attention to, Walid Suleiman, is the conservative 2021 campaign co-director. He's been uh, very vocal and forthright about concerns his party had during that election, especially with some writings where there was a significant Chinese diaspora that they said uh, they felt there was incidents or, or clear signs of foreign interference. At the time, the government looked at that. National Security Advisor Jody Thomas uh, says there was nothing to be concerned about. But even beyond that, signif uh, that, that singular incident, incidents. Uh, Walid Suleiman has also brought up facts uh, or mentioned about his time on a federal task force that oversees our elections uh, and how he felt his concerns were often being dismissed or not taken with enough seriousness. And so what we're going to see really this morning is a look behind the curtain at the inner machinations of that election. And then this afternoon, we're going to hear from the people who are at the very center of this entire ordeal. It's going to be a really important day we're going to learn a lot more, not just about what happened, but how it happens in Canadian elections, Jamie. Definitely one to pay attention to. Well, that's CTV's Colton Prale. We appreciate that report. Thank you.